fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading back to camp. Oh, Silver! Tonto was in camp at sunset, waiting for the Lone Ranger. The Indian hoped his masked friend would bring news that at last there was evidence against the cattle king, Benjamin Steele. The distant sound of hoofs brought Tonto to his feet. He peered between the trees of the woods and saw the white horse, Silver, and then the man in the saddle. Maybe this time him bring good news. And come plenty fast. Tonto, saddle up. Uh Huh? Me get scout ready, Pronto. Oh, there's Silver. Steady, boy, steady. Uh, Tonto, saddle up quick. Steady, boy. Here, I'll help you. Uh, What matter? Why we right now? Throw up your blankets. I'll cinch up. Hold it, scout. Hold it, big fella. (coughs) There. You got news about Steele? Steele? No, not yet, Tonto. We'll have to leave Steele alone for a few days. There's something more urgent. And what that? We've got to get to cold water before midnight. You know where that is. Ah, we go there before. Yes. Not much of a town, but there's a mighty strange situation in cold water. Hold up while I take off the mask and disguise myself. And why do we go to cold water? To talk to a girl named Betty Manning. She works in the cafe and she needs help. Oh, a fellow named Manning owned cafe in cold water. Yes, that's Betty's father. Maybe we get there by midnight. We ride plenty fast. Well, there's no time to lose. I'm trying to almost ready now. There's a mystery at cold water. Men disappear for a few days and then return. No one knows where they go or whom they see. But when they come back, they're changed. How changed? I don't know yet. That's one of the things we're going to find out. Steady, big boy. Are you ready now? Come on, then. Get him up. Come on, What time is it now, Jake? Time? Well, it's a few minutes till midnight. Why are you asking, Betty? Oh, I, I just wonder, that's all. Oh, what difference does the time make? You know we stay open till the last dog's hung. Your pa don't believe in closing the cafe early and letting a worn-out bartender get some sleep before the sun comes up. Why don't you complain to pa? Oh, now, Miss Betty, I'm not complaining. Don't be peevish and pecky just because I say something. Well, if you don't like your job. I do declare there's something worrying you, Miss Betty. What is it? Why do you think I'm worried? Oh, now, look, maybe I'm nothing but an old bartender, but I've seen enough of folks to know what's going through their minds. And right now, you're worrying about something that might happen or something that might not happen. What is it? Nothing. Oh, you've asked me the time about six times in the past hour. Well, maybe I'm looking for a friend to show up. <laughs> so that's it, eh? Huh? You're hoping Jerry will drop in. Well, yes, that's it. 
Sure, that's it, Jake. How'd you guess? Mm, by thunder, that's not it. Sure it is. That's all. I'm waiting for Jerry to show up. Betty, things is quiet right now. Uh, let me say something. What? I've known you and your power for a long time, since you was knee-high to a grasshopper. You ought to know that you can trust old Jake. Of course I know it. Then why don't you? And why don't you, old man? Pa trusts you. Not the whole way. He leaves you to run the cafe for days at a time. He lets you handle all the cash. Well, that's not the kind of trusting I'm talking about. That's part way trusting, but not all way trusting. Now, Betty, uh, where'd your pa go last week? Why don't you ask him? I did, and he won't tell. Then he doesn't want you to know. Why should I tell you? Do you know? Well, I... Uh, look at me, Betty. Do you know where he went? No. Oh, why? No, I don't. Oh, that's just it. He's been a different man since he got back. He's talking to selling out the cafe and leaving this part of the country. <laughs> He's nervous as a cat. He's scared as a hen with brood chicks when a dozen hawks is circling low. Now, ain't that so? Yes, Jake. That's so. Well... It's midnight. Say, Jake. Now I... Th oh. Can I speak to you for a minute? Oh, sure. Uh, sure thing, Jerry. Jerry. I'm leaving now, Betty. I, I reckon I'll be back in a day or so. Jerry, where are you going? Sorry, but that's sort of secret. You won't even tell me? Hey, Jake, I want you to take charge of this envelope while I'm away. Yeah. Lock it in the safe till I come back. If I... Step down here a minute, will you? Well, sure thing, son. What do you want me to do? Jake... You know how I feel about Betty. I'm hoping someday to ask you to marry me. Well, sure, everyone expects that. If something should happen that I, I don't come back, uh, I want Betty to have what's in this envelope. I'll remember. Thanks. A and, Jerry, hold on. Yeah? I don't suppose you could tell me where you're going. No. You know that you're not the first one that's left town sudden and mysterious. Yes, I know. Maybe when I get back, I'll be able to tell something. Yeah, you'll be able to, but I'll bet my bottom dollar you'll be as close-mouthed as Manning and Dresden and all the others are. We'll see. Remember what I told you about the envelope. I'll remember. So long, Jerry, and good luck. What did Jerry say? Now, Betty, if you want to know, you just ask him. Oh, here's your paw. Betty? Oh, yes, Pa. Watch the customers and don't spend so much time talking. I have been watching them. There's a the man in the private back room that wants some service. Now go wait in his table. Yes, sir. Hello, Betty. Hello, Betty. Hello, Betty. Are you Betty Manning? Yes. What did you want? Something to eat or drink? I don't want either. Well, then why... What's that? Cartridge. Have you ever seen one like it? Now, see here. I'm busy. Look. I have... Silver... You better bring something to eat or you'll have no reason to talk to me. You did come. You heard that I wanted to see you. Who was the young fellow that just left the cafe? He's the next in line. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. Even the sheriff himself has been, been away on one of those mysterious trips. The fellow you saw is Jerry Lambert. He, he's my best friend. If something happens to him, what I... What does happen? That's what I don't understand. Bring a plate of supper, Betty. Make as many trips as you can. Each time you come in, you can tell me a little more of what you know. That's just it. There's nothing to tell. Men leave town for a few days, then come back. When they come back, they're, they're entirely changed. Paul was happy and carefree and planning big things for the town of Coldwater. Then he went away. When he came back, he, he said he was going to sell out and leave here. He told me to keep it a secret. The sheriff went away. He came back quiet and worried and older looking. Now he barely speaks to anyone. Who else? Hank Timmons. He's the father of my friend Jane. The same thing happened to him. And Jane says he's planning to sell out and go east, same as Pa. And who else? Oh, there's four or five others. If only you'd been here earlier. I wanted you here before midnight. Jerry had to leave at midnight. Maybe you could have been followed. He's being followed. Oh. I know we'll see where he goes. But if it's known that Jerry's followed, he might be killed. I will be careful. Betty, there's other people waiting. Yes, Pa. I'll bring supper right in. Thanks. Step lively, daughter. I will. Just a minute, Manning. Eh? Close the door, will you? Well? I, uh, I hear you want to sell out. No such thing. That's not true. Sell out? Why should I sell out? I've got a good place here making good money. I wouldn't sell out. Of course not. No? No. Oh, I see. I, uh, must have misunderstood. Your supper will be right in. Who's that? Hey, 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 h
Where's Betty? Well, here she comes. Jane, what's Betty. the matter? Out there. He's on the ground. I, I saw it happen. Who? Not Jerry. Don't tell me Jerry's been... No, no, it's an Indian. Out beyond the hitch rail. Indian? It's Tonto. It must be Tonto. Oh, since you say, Jane, who's killed? I saw it happen. He was hit on the head. The man rode away fast. I couldn't see who it was. It was dark. And he was following Jerry. They'll know Jerry was following... Betty, stop that. Stop talking. Where's that stranger going? I'm going to find out. No, wait, Jake. I'll go with you. There's the stranger alongside the Indian. Hey, Silver. Look at the white horse. It's running right over to that man. He called the children. Hold on. Hold on there. We'll help you with that Indian. He's lifting him up on the white horse. He called the horse Silver. Jake. Betty, he... that man's the Lone Ranger. Now wait, wait, mister. Come on, Silver. Oh, now they'll know. Oh, Paul. Now they'll know Jerry was followed and they'll kill him. Who? Who'll kill Jerry? I don't know, Paul. I don't know, but you know. You know what they'll do. They'll, they'll get Jerry. <laughs> You'll be all right in a few minutes. Oh, me all right now. You've got a hard rap on the head. I'm sure there's no fracture. Uh, me all yeah, right. Don't try to stand up yet. Uh, where's Scout? He's here in the woods. He followed Silver when I brought you out of town. Uh, not good. Did you see who struck you? Uh, me not know. Me get hit from behind. Well, a girl, a friend of Betty Manning, saw you knocked down. She saw a man hit you, then right away. Oh. I don't know what game is being played around here, Kimosabe, but the stakes seem to be high. Even the sheriff is afraid. Hmm, where we start? We've got to learn from one of the men who knows. Who knows? Well, Manning knows, Hank Timmons knows, so does the sheriff. Jerry will know when he returns. Oh, uh, but maybe him not come back? We know that the men who leave the town are being watched. And what we do? These men in town aren't cowards, they're brave men. They're not afraid of losing their lives or their money. They often face death and defeat. But all plenty scared when they them come back. Yes. What are they afraid of? Well, it's going to be hard to get information, Tonto. Everyone saw me carry you away. They know who I am. They'll guess why I'm here. Uh, maybe Tonto go to town, hear plenty things. Yeah, you'd be known, too. And that's Silver. What's the matter, boy? Him. Here's someone. So do I. That way. All right, we've got you. That's the man, Sheriff. Don't go for a gun, mister. You're covered. Manning. That's the man. Get a time following you, mister. Who are you? Ben Bates. I'm Sheriff. How's the Indian? He's all right. Jane Timmons thought he'd been killed. Glad he wasn't. Mm, why you come here? To tell you two, you've got to clear out. Why? Because I say so. What would you do if we don't clear out, Sheriff? Jail us? No, we couldn't do that. Then what will you do? Well, I hate to say this, mister, but... You leave or we'll shoot you. <laughs> but you wouldn't That's do. where you're wrong. We would. We're not fooling. You've got till daybreak to get out of these parts. Otherwise, I'd hate to do it, but I promise you I'll shoot. Manning, did the sheriff's daughter know about I've this? I've got no daughter. Oh? Sheriff's young's a boy. I see. A young boy. Too young to know what's going on. Sheriff, you'd sooner shoot me than have something happen to your son, wouldn't you? Yes, I... Sheriff, he knows. By thunder, he guessed it. Well, that's a hold on you. You're afraid for your children. Manning and Timmons have daughters. You, Sheriff, have a son. You don't dare tell where you went or why. That's enough. Don't say any more. I've gone this far, and I'm going the rest of the way. I'm going to find out all about this trouble. You're causing... getting out of here. Not in the morning, but right now. You're getting out, or you're getting shot. Now, which is it to be? The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The sheriff and Dan Manning were determined that the Lone Ranger and Tonto would not investigate the strange situation in the town of Coldwater. They trailed the masked man to his camp and there gave the ultimatum. Sheriff, let me be sure of what you said. Tonto and I must leave here or you'll shoot us. Oh, hang it all. I guess that's what it boils down to. I know what great things you've done in other parts and I'd sooner take my own life than shoot you. But if you keep on with your investigation, my son's life will be in danger. And my daughter's. I... I guess if it came to a showdown, I, I wouldn't be able to drill you. But you can see how much it means to us for you to pull stakes. Yes, I do. Now, will you clear out? It's true, then. Men you saw threaten the lives of your children. You may as well admit that. If you make a move against them. Yes, and they know everything we do. But, Sheriff, you've sworn to uphold the law, to punish criminals. Our and... hands are tied. Every move we make is known to these men. Besides, we couldn't prove that they'd broken any laws. A driving men like you and Manning out of the West. That's enough against them. But it's nothing criminal. Anyway, we're not going to discuss it. You've got to clear out. Sheriff, Tonto knows enough about Jerry's horse to follow the trail. We're going to do that. Nothing is going to happen to Manning's daughter or to your son. But you can't... Come on, Tonto, mount up, steady big fellow. Uh, Be ready. Wait. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, scout. Come on, Silver. Jerry rode north through the night. Daybreak brought him to a river where he dismounted. This looks like the place I'm to stop. There's a big pile of rocks. Here's the river. All right, Jerry, I'm coming to meet you. Oh, you're waiting behind the rocks. Uh, I'll be ready in a minute now. Steady there, steady boy. Just how much do you know about this business? Nothing. Jerry, that's the wrong answer. You know something about it. What about that redskin that was going to follow you? What redskin? I didn't know anything about him. No, well, I do. I had to stop him. What about the Lone Ranger? The Lone Ranger? I don't know what you mean. I suppose you never even heard of the Lone Ranger. Sure I have. He's way south of Coldwater. Oh, he is, huh? How'd you know that? A friend of... That is, a friend of mine heard about him. She had a letter from someone saying the Lone Ranger was in the cattle country. And you never knew the Lone Ranger was right in cold water trying to find out about our plane. That's not true. Oh, yes, it is. And his Indian friend started out to follow you till I changed his mind. You? I was in cold water to make sure you left on schedule the way you were told to. I took a shortcut to get here ahead of you. Now, come on. <coughs> we'll go to the nesting place. You seem to be well posted on what goes on in town. Yeah, we do. You'll hear more about that later on. Get up there. Get up there, boy. An hour of riding upstream on the river's bank brought Jerry and Jackson to a cabin set well back among trees. A man stepped from the house and took charge of the horses. Now be sure they're kept well back out of sight. Hi, boys. You come on inside, Jerry. You'll find quite a few men waiting for you. Well, what sort of a reception committee is this? Yeah, it isn't necessary that you know them all. I'll let you look around a minute so as you'll see we're well organized. Now, those two sit in the far corner there from the east. They're handling one part of the business. Lefty and Thunder here are the ones that stand ready to do the rough work when they're called on. Seems to me the law would like to have them in a couple of states. Nothing ever been proved on us. The law can't touch us. Yeah, we made sure of the men we got lined up with us, you see, Jerry. Now, if you're hard to deal with, why, uh, these two would be right glad of the chance to earn the bonus money we promised them. Yeah, go ahead and get hard to handle, will you? We'd like to earn that bonus money, and then we can hit for the border and live high for the rest of our lives. Meaning you're to pay those cutthroats extra if they're called on for murder? Mm, I guess you're savvy. What do you want of me, anyway? I've got nothing of value. That's just where you're wrong. What do you mean? You've got a name. Name? And that name on a hunk of paper can be a prime value to us. I'm to sign something? Yeah, that's the idea. Here, take a look at this paper. What is it? Well, look it over. All you got to do is sign it there at the bottom. Well, this is nothing but a bill of sale. Sure. For one dollar and other valuable consideration. Here's the dollar. What are the other good and valuable considerations? Well, uh, you might say that uh, we'll protect the life of your girl. But this describes some land that I don't even own. Oh, then you shouldn't mind signing. What if I don't sign it? Well, then we'll, well, we have to keep you here for a time and let you think it over. But while you're thinking it over, things might happen in cold water. You never know what's likely to happen when you're not around. 
And if I do sign it, what then? Well, then you stay here as our guest for a day while the bill of sale is taken the land office and recorded. And you're free to leave, and well, that's all there is to it. I can't see where I got anything to lose. I'll sign it. Yeah, you're showing good sense. <laughs> Some of the others took a lot more convincing. There you are. Now, just as soon as the witnesses sign, I'll take it into the land office and have it recorded. And when I come back, you can go free. That means I'll have to be here till late tomorrow? Yep. Uh, while you're here, the boys will tell you some of the things that might happen to certain people if you say anything about this. In a short time, Jackson left the others and headed for cold water. Late at night, when the cafe had closed, he went to the shack where Jake, the old bartender, lived. Well, Jackson, I got your signal in the cafe a while ago. Cherry signed and the transfer of title is recorded, eh? Yep, it's all set. <laughs> yeah, and I guess that just about finishes things, on it, Jake? Yeah, let me see. The map's here. and I've checked off the sections as we got title to them. Uh, Jerry said the same as the others, that he didn't even own the land at all. <laughs> so there wasn't any reason for him not to sign it. <laughs> None of these men knew that they owned it. That's the best part of it. We control the whole thing now, all of it. How do you know of it, Jake? Me? I'm an old-timer. I was one of the early settlers here. Well, I was here when the Redskins wiped out almost all the men that had land grants. And I forgot all about the youngsters that had moved away when the massacre started. And those youngsters grew up never knowing that their fathers owned the land. I never told them. Fact is, I forgot all about it until a while ago when the railroad agent was looking for the owners. That's when I get the idea of getting all the land transferred to my name. Uh, Jake, the boys are waiting to be paid off. You promised no, as soon as... they'll get paid off. Not by you. Huh? Mast. Sit still. I'll reach for a gun. So, Jake, you're the one. Manny. Are you scheming, Paul? Uh, sheriff, wait. Now, hold We've on. We've heard enough of your scheme. We were listening outside the window. All right, you heard it. What are you going to do about it? So you're the one that's going to keep an eye on us, and if we know what will happen, huh? Uh, you wouldn't have found out if it hadn't been for that man, the Lone Ranger. It's all gone right. He followed Jerry's tracks and then followed Jackson back here. All right, now you know about it. Well, you're too late. Now you can talk all your doggone pleas and it won't do any good. Oh, it won't, eh? You proved that any law was broken. I've got papers to show that I own all the land and that these papers are legal. If you'd have found out before, why, you might have warned Jerry. Yeah, if we'd known our rights, you never got a land for nothing. Tricked you right slick, eh? Well, there's nothing you can do now. You can't arrest me for buying land, can you? No, I guess we can't. You had Jackson locate men who are ready to kill. They're paid for it. Well, Jake, you're going to regret that more than anything you've ever done. Come on. Hey, let me go. Let me go. Do you hear? I know you bring the sheriff and Manning and anyone else who wants to come. You know what to do. Uh, me no. No, wait. Wait for what? We've got to start now if we're going to join your pals in the morning. Jerry will be glad to see you. The following morning, when Jerry wakened, he found the other man in the shack already finished with breakfast and trying to pass the time with cards. How much longer have I got to stay here? What's the matter? Don't you like it here? No. I want to get back to cold water. Oh, you go when Jackson gets back and tells you it's all right. Take almost a sundown to get there, even if I start now. I've got things to do. Well, now, ain't that too bad. Why don't you tell the sheriff we held you prisoner again your will and tell him to jail all of us? Go ahead, tell him that and see what happens. Hey, see what's coming. Well, it's about time. Yeah, I hope you're the last one we have to deal with. Likes to be done with this job. I wish I could figure out what good it'd do you to have me sign my name to a bill of sale when I don't even own the land. Now, listen here, you fellas. Well, if it ain't Jake, how's barkeeping these days? I'm huh? taking charge now. Mast. Jackson couldn't get back here, so I'm here in his place. I may have some trouble with this one. Jake, they got you too? No, Dad, rat at all. And you've got to listen to me. Be quiet. He's determined not to sign any bill of sale. I guess a couple of you boys know what to do in a case like that. Yeah, bet your neck we do. So you won't sign, eh? Now, listen, I'm the one that hired Jackson. You? I'll leave it to you men to decide whether Jake could have planned this thing. He doesn't look at... Oh, Dan Rattett, you've got to believe me. Now let me talk. There's the paper he's to sign. Go to work on him. This is what we've been waiting for. Now, now let go of me. Don't pay any attention to what that man says. Give him the he's... pen. Here. Now start writing. Those guns of the mass man have authority with me. Oh, this ain't right. This ain't legal. This is an out-and-out skin game. I suppose this critter will tell everyone in town about this. He's got no kin to worry about. Let him talk. It won't do any good. Because as soon as he's signed, you can all pull out of here. The job will be done. 
Are you going to sign that paper, or mm-hmm. we argue the point for a little while? No, no, no. Put that gun away. Right there's where your name goes. Oh, it's a mistake. It's all wrong. It's a... oh, all right, all right. I'm signing. Now you're getting smart. Mm-hmm. There. But you wait. You try and collect a cent to pay from me. Oh, you... right here. No, I'll sign. Great guns. That white horse outside. Is... And you're masked. You're the Lone Ranger. What's that? The Lone Ranger? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's not the schemer at the head of this. I am. Now look at the paper. I've signed back every foot of the land I got. Now hold on. If this is a Lone Ranger, then we've You're got You're going to get your hands up. The sheriff at the window. Come on, Manning. Close right in. Right as rain. Manning. Hey, what is this? I tried to tell you, you doggone fools. It's all a frame. Well, let me out of this. Stay where you are. Did you get the witness to the paper? That man signed as a witness. He signed before, too. If you need more witnesses to Jake's signature, I guess we can all sign. Yeah, we won't need any more. As soon as this paper's recorded, we'll all get our land back. Hold on, Sheriff. I didn't own the land I signed away in the first place. Oh, yes, you did, Jerry, but you didn't know it. Your paw owned it before he was massacred. The same as my paw and Manning's paw owned land. Jake wanted it to get it and sell to the railroad. Jake, why, you scheming old tadpole, you. Oh, all right, all right, I'm beat. Dad ratted if I was only a better schemer. Right now, the law doesn't care about arresting you men. You better clear out of here before the sheriff changes his mind. You mean we can go? You better go quick or I might change my mind. Then I'm as good as gone right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's too bad, Jake. You had a good idea, but it just didn't work You're out. Skin to a frazzle. Nothing but a stove-in old bartender and not even a job left me. What do you mean? What's the matter of my cafe? Why, Mr. Manning, you, you let me stay on there? Oh, I reckon we can forget the trick you tried to play. Hey, Mr. Manning... If... If I'm a landowner and can sell to the railroad, then I'll be able to... to... Yep. I reckon you'll be able to speak to Betty. Hey, oh, where's that Lone Ranger? I've got to tell him what this means to me. Where is he? I saw him a minute ago. He mm. must have slipped out with those others. There he is, outside in the horse. Hey, wait! Wait a minute! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 